would like to thank the KCA organizers for giving me the opportunity to present this case. This is a 62-year-old man with past medical history of hypercholesterolemia and no family history. His disease began with macroscopic hematuria. No back pain or weight loss were present at that moment. Initial imaging revealed a left renal mass with no lymphadenopathies and no distant meds. A laparoscopic left nephrectomy was performed and the pathology reported a clear cell renal cell carcinoma Furman 4 of 10 by 9 by 5 centimeters with perirenal fat and renal sinus invasion. So we had a clear cell renal cell carcinoma Furman 4 PT3A. After one year and eight months of follow-up, the scan showed progression of the disease with pulmonary meds in both lungs. The Karnofsky index at that moment was 100% and the patient had elevated LDAs. So far, we had a 64-year-old man with metastatic clear cell renal cell carcinoma of intermediate prognosis by MSKCC and criteria and group prognosis by HEN criteria. Based on the phase C trial of sunitinib versus interferon, we started sunitinib at the, at the standard schedule of 50 milligrams four weeks on, two weeks off. The patient developed hypertension grade one that was well managed with medication and hand food syndrome grade three at, cycles, at cycle two that required a dose reduction to 37.5 milligrams. The patient had a stable disease as best response, but after 18 cycles of sunitinib, a progression of the disease was observed with new pulmonary meds. At this point, um, the patient had a PFS uh, to first line treatment of 26 months, and we decided, by, based on the access trial, start axitinib 5 milligrams B in day. After two, day, two weeks of treatment, the patient came to the clinics with diarrhea grade, grade one that was well managed with loperamide and grade three of hypertension. So we started lisinopril 10 milligrams a day. Two weeks later, the patient came to the visit with better blood pressure control, but still high. So we added amlodipine. The first CT scan revealed a stable disease by resist criteria with a decrease of 18% in the, in the target lesions. So the patient has now at PFS to second line treatment of eight months and it still continues. So to sum up, this is a metastatic clear cell renal cell carcinoma patient with PFS to first line treatment of 26 months and PFS to second line treatment of eight months. A total PFS at that moment of 34 months. Thank you very much for your attention.